Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. I am here at VRDC, joined by... Hi, I'm Scott Montgomery from Scope AR, and uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder. So tell me a little bit about one of your amazing applications, Remote AR. Yeah, so Remote AR is this really great application that allows an expert and a technician to collaborate together in augmented reality. So the idea is that you've got a technician out in the field that has a problem, and he would call back to an expert, and so uh, video would be transmitted from the technician's phone to the expert. And the amazing part is that the expert can add annotations on the expert's field of view in augmented reality to show him what to do. So that might be you know, drawing an arrow or adding a, an annotation and circling a, maybe a wire. And even if the guy's phone moves around, um, that annotation would stick to what it's looking at in augmented reality. So it's a really great way of transferring the knowledge of you know, the expert telling the, the technician what to do. And you know it's fully cross-platform, so it supports iOS, Android, uh, Windows Surface. Does that work on sort of the Microsoft Windows Mixed Reality headsets as well? Um, stay tuned for an announcement. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this sounds really exciting and extremely useful. Um, how does it work with the Wi-Fi? Do you need Wi-Fi for it to work? Yeah, so uh, we've optimized for uh, low bandwidth connections. So um, you know a lot of the use cases we work with are in remote areas. You know you've got a remote technician uh, in a pretty crappy bandwidth situation. You know oil rigs. For for example, um, and so we've really optimized the, the video and the annotations for um, for all types of network. It works really, really well in Wi-Fi. Also works in LTE. Also works kind of down to uh, 4G. And one of the most amazing things is we actually have a thing called low bandwidth mode, where it freezes the video and ends up still, uh, sending still frames. But because of the magic of augmented reality, the annotations um, can be added from one perspective and then seen from another perspective. So an expert can be you know, frozen in a field of view uh, over here, and the technician can have moved. And if he draws something on, on a wire over here, um, the technician will see that um, show up in the right place where the expert intended. So it makes it really, really um, uh, efficient uh, bandwidth-wise to communicate still. And are you able, besides like drawing and doing annotations, are you able to bring in 3D assets as well? Yeah, that's something we've uh, shied away from. Um, it's, it's certainly built into the platform for future use. Uh, right now we're working with uh, just basic annotations and simple tools, uh, but certainly in the future, uh, sending schematics and overlaying that on top of real equipment is something we're definitely interested in doing. Is that something that works as like only a one-to-one, -one or does it work with more than just two people? Yeah, so currently it's one-to-one. Many-to-one -one. Um, -one is probably the number one request from customers. Um, you know, having one technician looking at a problem and many experts collaborating on that problem to, to solve a problem. So definitely we'll be adding that future, a feature in the future. Wow, amazing. Uh, very, very useful. It's very cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where can we find out more information about this product? So you can head to our website, uh, www.scopear.com, S-C-O-P-E. Uh, AR.com, um, and then yeah, uh, slash remote AR, or you can just find it through the links. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll put a we'll put a link here. To Perfect. Make it easier. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that. Uh, head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about it, and I will see you there. Thanks a lot. Uh...